The CT scan shows a small bowel obstruction. It's not surprising. The patient had been through this before. She knew that was the diagnosis. The disposition is easy. The surgeon is happy to accept. But when you tell the patient the CT result, a look of dread comes over her face. You aren't going to shove that tube up my nose again. That hurts. In my mind, the use of NG tubes for bowel obstruction is an anachronism. I grew up hearing about literature that said NG tubes provided no benefit, but they are routinely rated as one of the most painful things we do to our patients. But every time I call surgery, put an NG tube in is the very first thing that comes out of the surgeon's mouth. So I figured it was time to look through this evidence for myself. It turns out there really is no evidence. But let's go through the few studies we have so you can make the best possible decisions for your patients. The use of NG tubes to decompress the stomach in small bowel obstruction seems to have originated back in the 1920s. This was an era before CT scan. The mortality for bowel obstruction in the 1920s was over 40%. It was a different world. Now, over the course of a couple de decades, things changed, and they changed dramatically. Different surgeries were being used, and surgeries in the 1920s was changing a lot as different anesthetics were being developed. Diagnostics improved. X-rays became a thing. And at least at the Mass General Hospital, they started using NG tubes. And from the 1920s until the end of the 1930s, mortality dropped at Mass General from about 45% all the way down to 20%. That's pretty amazing. And as a result, the NG tube just sort of became standard care. But of course, it isn't clear that the NG tube was actually the thing that was helping here. A case series from the 1920s, from an era before CT, an era with a mortality of 40%, that's not really the best evidence to base modern practice on. So let's look at some modern data. There is not a single RCT looking at this practice. Despite strong opinions, despite its widespread use, there's absolutely no modern evidence that an NG tube helps. We do have two observational trials. Now, observational trials are a low level of evidence. Doctors are going to choose to put NG patients in some patients and not others, and those groups are going to be different. And those differences, those confounders, might explain the differences between the groups. So we have to be careful with our conclusions. But the short answer is, the observational data hints at harm, if anything, from NG tubes. Study number one is Fonseca 2013. 290 patients admitted to the hospital with small bowel obstruction. 20% of them were managed without an NG tube. The use of an NG tube was associated with worse outcomes across the board. Longer time to resolution, longer length of stay in the hospital, and a higher rate of complications. Non-operative management was successful in two-thirds of patients across the board, and it was the same whether or not you had your NG tube placed. Of note, almost two-thirds of the patients who had an NG tube placed only had very minimal drainage from the tube, indicating the procedure could not have possibly helped in the majority of patients. Study number two is Berman 2017. It's another retrospective chart review, this time of 181 patients with small bowel obstruction, half of whom were treated without an NG tube. There was no association at all between NG tube use and mortality, surgery, or bowel resection. NG tube decompression was associated with a longer hospital stay. Again, this is observational data. There were baseline differences between the groups. NG tubes were used more often in elderly patients and those with malignancy, so the data is far from perfect. But we only have two observational studies, and in both, the group who had NG tubes placed actually had worse outcomes. Although somewhat tangential, prophylactic NG tubes have long been used to promote earlier return of bowel function in the context of ileus after surgery. However, a systematic review of 28 studies, including more than 4,000 patients, found the exact opposite. Ileus resolved faster in patients without an NG tube. The conclusion of the systematic review was routine nasogastric decompression does not accomplish any of its intended goals and so should be abandoned in favor of selective use of the nasogastric tube. So to summarize this, we have absolutely no idea if the NG tube helps. There's just no quality evidence. The observational data actually suggests harm in longer hospital stays, longer time to resolution, and more complications, but 
The data is so weak, I don't really trust it. Honestly, we just don't know. Some patients may benefit, but the observational data suggests that NG tubes should not be used routinely. On the other hand, NG tubes clearly cause harm. NG tubes are painful. They are routinely rated as among the very worst things that we do to patients. There's a classic survey study that looked at adult patients who were admitted to the hospital and had various medical procedures done to them, and the NG tube made it to the very top of the list with an average pain score of 8.8 out of 10. That puts it ahead of mechanical ventilation that only got 8 out of 10. It's also ahead of things like central line placement, arterial lines, and Foley catheters. There are some ways that we can limit the pain from NG tubes, but we generally don't do them and they aren't perfect. Nebulize all the lidocaine you want, the NG tube still hurts. And according to our patients, it hurts more than being intubated. So with clear harm and absolute uncertainty about benefit, there's really only one ethical answer. NG tubes should not be used routinely. I don't really know how to select patients, but, you know, maybe severe pain, nausea or vomiting that isn't controlled with antiemetics, there still may be a role for selective NG tubes, although we're in an evidence-free zone here. But before NG tubes are used routinely, we must demonstrate that there is a benefit that outweighs the known harm. The burden of proof lies with those who are asking us to put patients through this painful procedures. If NG tubes are as important as some people think, if there's a huge absolute benefit, then it should be very easy to demonstrate that benefit in an RCT. However, until we see that RCT, it is unfair to patients to subject them to an unproven, painful procedure. Couldn't agree more with Justin on that one. It's probably worth reminding our surgery colleagues of the lack of evidence for NG tubes when they asked us to order one. <laughs> 